Okay, let's taste the Castello Romitorio, Romitoro uh, wine from Tuscany. Um, so Beth, what, what is this wine made from? So this is a blend of Syrah and Petit Verdot. And you know, sometimes when we're tasting, you just come across these wines that are not what you expect mm -hmm. from a region. So um, it, it's from Tuscany. Um, and obviously a Syrah Petit Verdot. So Syrah commonly um, associated with the Northern Rhone and Petit Verdot, um, one of the minor grape varieties of Bordeaux, usually used in it like one or 2% in the wine, um, grown here together. So during the 1980s, um, a lot of producers got fed up with the strict rules in Italy and wanted to do something different. So obviously um, Tuscany is associated with Chianti and Brunello that use the Sangiovese grape, but kind of in strict blend. And they wanted to do something different um, with different grape varieties. And so you see a lot of high quality wines with IGP, which is kind of a more generic um, quality level of um, a, a wine on the label and that these can go for hundreds of pounds a bottle um, so it, and it's just about that really interesting innovation so it's a historical estate that kind of dates back uh, over you know one two thousand years um, so very historical but then doing something different renegade um, different grape varieties as opposed to what we'd normally look, be looking for in Tuscany which is kind of crunchy red fruits and tannin you know we've got syrah here so we're expecting quite a rich kind of dark fruits kind of peppery character and mm. um, pretty verdot should also be adding to come at some of that structure as well mm. so have a quick sniff Lovely. oh yeah that, that is so much deeper than your typical tuscan isn't it uh, yeah and that is really that black fruit um mm. a slightly meaty character that you often get with syrah um just rich and Delicious yeah, on the slightly nose. peppery as well, maybe? Yeah, mm. definitely peppery. And I'm sure we'll pick that up on the palate as well. Sure. Very deep as well on the palate, isn't it? Lovely, deep, dark flavours. And, and you do have some grainy tannins, but mm. they're quite... I mean, there's a lot of body here and they're well integrated. And there's a really lovely freshness that which you, you kind of get from those Tuscan hills that, that kind of help um, give wines their freshness. Mm. Um, Oh, it's really deep, juicy and long. I'd forgotten how good this wine that is, actually. <laughs> There's a lot to it, isn't it? It's, as you say, it's a very meaty wine. Um, and interestingly, um, Abby's paired this with a, with a vegetable dish, a vegetable take on lasagna, which I think is a lovely choice. I mean, lasagna is, a classic lasagna is beautiful, but it, it is quite a heavy, rich dish. I think using vegetables instead just lightens it a touch. Um, uh, and then, as you say, the things like the freshness in here and, you know, and that, that pepperiness as well. Uh, will be a lovely savoury link with those vegetables. Um, I think a, a really, really nice match. Yeah, a renegade take on a classic region using different grape varieties, but coming together in this really rich, harmonious wine, um, just so concentrated and will be fantastic with food.